Hey folks, how's it going? I'm always after getting Logi Pro tips that make stuff faster, make stuff easier, allow me to fly through sessions because really time is money. The more mixes I can fit in in a day, the better. The more money I earn. I love money. It's kind of Christmas. I don't love money. Money helps out with things. Um, so I want to give you uh, one, two, three, three tips to get around your Logic Pro sessions a little bit quicker. And this is all to do with processing. This is all to do with getting plugins on stuff, finding tracks, auditioning plugins, finding out what works, find out what doesn't work. So this is a uh, pop punk track that I'm working on at the moment for a client. Um, take a listen. Okay, so starts off really pop punk, then goes into this acoustic guitar bit. Here's the first tip. So I've got a relatively large session here, and I kind of want to be up at the drums because the drums sound a bit naff at the moment. There's some weird kind of phasey stuff on the, the overheads. Um, so let's say I'm working on the drums, but then it comes in the verse and I need to work on that acoustic guitar. So how do I find the acoustic guitar easily? Well, sometimes I'm working on sessions that have got 100 tracks in it. I don't need to be just scrolling around and finding stuff. Tip number one, if you press Control and Command and T, a little box will appear for you and you can type in the name of the track acoustic there we go i'm going to press enter hey presto it comes up at the bottom really simple we can try it again for kick control command and t and type in kick at the top and it just automatically flies you to that point which is really really quite handy so let's go to acoustic okay now on this particular acoustic guitar i want to put a I don't know, some processing on it. Let's put some EQ on. But I'm here and I'm using the shortcuts. I don't want to go over to the side here and put stuff on. There's a quicker way. Let's go to Control, Command, just the same as before. But in this instance, let's go P. And it brings up all of our plugins that we can possibly put on stuff. So let's type in EQ. Uh, let's go just hit down. And we can just, all key commands, just go in between these and just kind of see what works. Uh, let's go for this one, which I never use in my life, but let's see what happens. Um, so I'm going to pop this EQ on this acoustic guitar. Still on the shortcuts. I'm just going to press S to solo that acoustic guitar because it's already selected. Really helpful. Let's shove a bit of high end on it. Nice. Bit of bottom end. Okay, that works. So let's pop another plugin on this using our new handy shortcut. Um, let's go for the new Safari Pedals uh, Herd Compressor, which I've actually got a review of if you check out a couple of videos ago. Uh, it's great. Um, but I'm just going to do something gentle here. I don't want the VCA, I don't want the Devil, I just want the Opto, and I want something that's going to be kind of gentle. So let's just take a listen to just this section again and see if we can get some compression on it. Okay. To my ear, that's sounding pretty cool. But in mixing, we always, always, always have to remain objective. We have to know what it sounds like with the plugins on, but kind of more importantly, we have to know what it sounds like without them on so that we can say, right, is what I've done actually improving it? Am I remaining objective? Is that actually making stuff better? So another key command that you can use to just completely turn off all the plugins on that particular track or any track that you've got selected, really. Um, I've got the acoustic guitar selected at the moment. So let's just hit Shift, Alt. Some people call it Option, don't they? It's Alt on my keyboard. Shift, Option, Command, and B. And take a look at these plugins over here. Look what this is going to do. Boom. Gets rid of them all. Turn them on again. Turn them off again. Turn them on again. Turn them off again. So if we hit play on that acoustic guitar track and use that key command, Shift, Option, B. Uh, Shift, Option, Command, B, sorry. Brings all the plugins on. Brings them off. Brings them on again. 
we can be objective and we can kind of hear what it is exactly that we're doing for that. Um, this actually works for a number of tracks at a time as well. So let's say, for example, let's go into our mixer for a moment, get rid of you. Uh, let's select all of our drums and let's hit Shift, Option, Command and B. And it's going to turn all the plugins off on those drums, on any of the tracks you've got selected. Now, I think that's really, really useful. The first one, so that you can find the, the track that you're looking for, okay? So let's go Control, Command, T again. Just being able to do that and type stuff in and have it fly around. In this session, I've got, what, 26 tracks. So it's not the, you know, the heaviest session in the world. The mix I was doing yesterday had like 116. I needed this. I needed to fly between stuff, especially because if you've got everything in view, like really small like that, I don't like that. I like to have stuff kind of filling the screen. Really useful. So also, if you're going to that plugin view, so con control, command, P, just being able to kind of, you know, type in all of the stuff that's there. It's an extension of the new thing that we've got where we can type in all of our plugins. Um, I don't know what I'm typing, Dad. Hey, Dad. Um, but it's just an easier way of getting there. I don't know which version this came in on, but it kind of changed stuff for me when it did because I can just say, listen to a mix, right? I can tell that that acoustic guitar needs some work. Okay, so all I'm gonna do is gonna search for the acoustic guitar and spell it right, obviously. Excellent. Press that key command and go for a, I don't know, compressor, whatever, hit enter, shove it on. And then I've already got that track selected. So the processing that I'm doing, I can then bypass it and bring it back in again. Three tips that just make stuff so easy and just allow you to zone in on that one particular instrument and say, right, what is it actually doing? Let's get there faster. Let's see if it's working. Let's see if it's not working. Is it achieving what I want it to do? Well, I can turn the plugins off, turn them back on again. Yes, it is. Or no, it isn't. If it isn't, change the plugin, put a new one on, do whatever you want. I find that so useful. And being able to just power user your way around Logic Pro is the way to do it. And these little shortcuts and these little helpers just help a lot and i hope it's helped you if it has let me know in the comments uh if not then don't whatever see you again soon take care